What's going on? Welcome to Asian Coast Sales. So give me, if you guys can give me the HKO special, help the king out, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. All right, so let's get into this because uh, the WNBA uh, season is going to open up tomorrow. And, you know, we want to just uh, see what's going on here. But, you know, um, you know, the WNBA, of course, likes to really hype itself up. Okay. But realistically, you know, we're not going to buy it completely. Now, of course, we got the Caitlin Clark. You know, that game is sold out at, you know, for the Connecticut Sun. You know, they haven't sold out since 2003. So let's take a look into this article. So the WNBA season is almost here, and the league may be poised for its biggest start ever. After an incredible offseason that included a record breaking NC to a performance from Caitlin Clark and record shattering viewership of the 2024 WNBA draft. The upcoming season is the most anticipated in decades. And that will be obvious when the season tips off on Tuesday night. Why? Caitlin Clark, who was the number one overall by the Indiana Fever less than a month ago, will face up the Connecticut Sun in front of. A sellout crowd at Mohegan Sun Arena. Nearly 9,000 tickets have sold. And it's the first time since they sold out since back in 2003. So, but, you know, Clark's popularity isn't benefiting the fever. She prompted national and international interest in women's college basketball at the college professional level. Her feats may have been sparked, but the fire had not started without the world could talent as a few. So lighting the way newcomers like Clark, Angel Reese, Camilla Cardoso, Cameron Brink. So these are the four players I want to see. But veterans like Diana Taurasi, mid-career dynamos like Brianna Stewart, Casey Plum, Aja Wilson, who got Nike to bend the knee. The growth of the W over just this offseason open doors for the league, and they lead about most everywhere imaginable. Because why? Caitlin Clark, but Disney ain't going to admit, or the WNBA ain't going to admit it to that. The four games being played to open the 24 season on Tuesday will be available to watch in normal places, ESPN2, ESPN. But there's a new option that reflects how popular the league has become with the younger viewers. Now, two of the four opening nights game will be available to stream on Disney+, Plus, in addition to their other locations. Now, and Disney picked the most two anticipated matchups of the slate. Caitlin Clark debuted against the Sun in the defending Las Vegas Aces versus Phoenix Mercury. Sorry, I think everyone's paying attention to Caitlin Clark's game. The W popularity has also made to a major and welcome change. For the first time, the WNB will be starting full-time charter flights for each and every team. No longer will these world-class, phenomenally talented professional athletes to be forced to take economy commercial flights to travel from city to city. But the Im implementation isn't going entirely smoothly. Some teams still be flying commercial for the first few games, which is prompting questions about the competitive advantage, which is how the WNB used to argue against the charter use. So, according to Brianna Stewart, two of five WNBA teams traveling today on the WNBA charters, and that's a win. It couldn't be bigger if the W allows teams that were not offered league charters to secure their own 12-team solution already. So, trip one is season charter bus. Yep, and the New York Liberty will not be flying charter for their first two games of the season, Tuesday, so for the 14th and Thursday at Indiana Fever. So last week, the WNB announced that a full charter program we faced, but that's going to take time. And, yep, and there, that's, you know, pretty much the word of everything. So while there's past been concept of competitive averages, when discussing travel, not all teams will be able to charter for their opening games. So, yep, they're going to have to do it, and the sky will not be traveling. So Elizabeth Oto's players have a town out with Candy Engelbert, but hey, it's still going to take some time. So the WNBA has never been more popular as a brand right now, and the league is looking to capitalize while practicing its core values. 
The league recently signed a deal with Dick Sporting Goods to produce a clothing line for girls. So for us, us, it's really important to create products for girls because we're trying to focus keeping girls in sports. And the WME Chief Growth Officer told uh, People Magazine. So the reacher shows that the girls drop out at a rate of two times faster than boys by the time they're 14. So finding a way to keep girls in sports to empower them, it's really important for the WNBA. Yep, so NBA WNBA players are also the new faces and bodies of skin shapewear that Kim Kardashian found the was announced as a first official underwear of the NBA WNBA USA basketball back in October and Skim's new ad campaign to some of the popular WNBA NBA athletes. So, Yep, last campaign, Kelsey Plum, Jordan Carrington, Cameron Brink, Scholar Diggins Swiss, and recently retired Candace Parker. So there's their thing. And yep, so they're the official wear. So yep, they're uh, kind of changing their tune, aren't they? But still, the WNBA isn't the best league in the game. You know, maybe they will be for the 40 games that Caitlin Clark's going to be part of. But unfortunately, yeah, it is still not, you know, according to the ad, that is going to be the biggest game, you know, biggest league. So it all depends on what Caitlin Clark does. Yeah, even there's Cameron Brink, Angel Reese, and Carmela Cardoso. But those other three are not moving the needle without, you know, Caitlin Clark. So, yeah. So the hype of all this, no, it's not there. Maybe there's hype because we got, say what? Caitlin Clark. That's going to be the game tomorrow to watch. All right. So if you enjoyed this content, please give me the HKO special. Help the king out. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. So tomorrow we'll see how it goes down. All right. Take care, and I'll see you guys in my next video.